Hello everyone, Cindy Olin here with Create Your Own Luck in Love and welcome to the summer of love in June. I'm so excited for this week and this weekend wrapping up. I hope you guys have liked our date, my daily lives and my goal is to really help give you great content to support you in really creating your summer of love. Yes, because it's possible to create lasting love, especially in the summertime. So that's why I'm so passionate about it this time of year. Let me know if you are here live or if you are listening to the replay. I just want to know. And I'd also love to hear, do you have any fun plans this weekend? Let me know. Hey, Patricia, you rock, yay. So I wanna do a quick review from yesterday because I felt like I was a little all over the board with many interruptions. I apologize for that. My son's school was calling and unfortunately he had a few little issues going on, but Send a little good energy and prayer his way. He's been suffering from some ugly little diarrhea, I know, for a couple weeks off and on. So anyway, that's that. But just, you know, to talk, I just want to give you a quick recap from yesterday. So three things to really be mindful of as you're growing a relationship organically. If you're first starting to see someone, that you really enjoy, you're having a good time with, it's, you know, remember, allow yourself to take it slow in the beginning to move it faster later on. And inadvertently as women, we can stop a relationship from growing the way that it should by doing a couple of things that cause him to second guess you and his feelings, his growing feelings for you. So number one, it's talking about yourself negatively. It's actually negativity. And so if you're talking, if you're highlighting things about yourself negatively, he starts to question whether or not you're the high value woman that he thought you were. And I'm not suggesting you don't want to be vulnerable. Vulnerability is different. And I'll definitely be sharing more about that. It's, you know, putting yourself down. Vulnerability is sharing a fear. And, you know, a fear is something that is simply a fear. You know, I fear that, um, you know, I won't be in a relation, the, you know, deep loving relationship that my heart desires, right? Or, or whatever that fear could be for you in the moment. And, you know, those fears actually help you get closer to someone. So I do want to keep that. Um, if you have any questions about these things coming up, please feel free to let me know. Um, post on, you know, post on this Facebook Live or, um, you know, feel free to reach out to me as well. So there's, there's those things, those are the major things that women don't always think about, but they start, you know, they start sharing things and I believe it's important to be you, but we start sharing things that don't always cause, um, that, that don't always bring people closer to us. So doing, you know, understanding that piece is, is super important. And the other thing is because, you know, letting those fears manifest themselves into deeper triggers that actually hold you back from showing the real you. Because as women get more involved, sometimes they um, they start to put them themselves forward into the ver the what they think is what the man wants. So 
pretzeling yourself into the version of what you think the man wants without being you, right? Hi, Helene. Hi, Nikki. Uh, it's good to see you ladies out here. So I want to talk about, um, so I hope that helps. Listen to the beginning of this. Watch it. Let me know if you have any questions. And then the next is I want to talk about something fun because I feel like it's Fun Friday. Woo! I got my fun earrings on, right? Um, <clears throat> so what's really important is to have fun in the summer. Actually show that you're having fun. Smile when you're out there. Where do all the available men go? Okay, it's a secret. Not so secret. They're everywhere. Yes. So looking up, you know, in your local community, Google it online, you know, what are some great events? And a lot of them have ratings. They have stars for ratings, like, you know, the local hot air balloon event has maybe five stars. So maybe go to that one, right? And you start... Go to um, farmer's markets. Go to um, go out and listen to live music. Concerts in the park are really big this time of year. Look for things in your community to do. And, you know, sporting events are always good. You know, baseball, going to a place to watch a sporting event. You know, especially if there's an indoor outdoor area, so it has a fun vibe to it. And, you know, don't worry if you're by yourself and you're watching a sporting event and there's men around, typically they're going to think that's pretty cool. And you might have men talking to you, and you can always look at them and smile and make conversations like, wow, I can't believe you made that play. What the heck, he went for the three-pointer. If it's something you're genuinely into. You have a client of mine that loves football, loves football season, and she would literally go to her local pub to watch football games and gained several dates from that. So, um, you know, looking for opportunities to do things. If you live close to a beach, go to the beach, you know, you know, bring a good book. Also, you know, naturally look up, smile, walk to the ocean. I mean, I remember I have a client of mine that used to, that lives right down the street from the beach, would literally go almost every day and you know, ended up meeting a gentleman she dated briefly. So you never know, join activities. This time of year, there's so many great activities. Like you can learn how to sail. They have meetup groups where you can learn how to sail. There's hiking groups. There's, um, there's wine tasting groups. I mean, you name it, they are out there. And, you know, one of the things that I recommend when it comes to meetup groups or groups is giving a group more than one opportunity. Um, because you just never know. You just, and you want to ask people, you know, what, what are some of the groups that you like to go to? Why do you like to go to them? And see if they resonate with you. And I feel like, especially during the summertime, there isn't a night that there is not an activity. There is always something going on. I mean, here in here in San Diego, I will tell you this. Um, gosh, I think. I mean, I know there's activities every single day, but. You know, right now we have the San Diego County Fair, so there's always concerts. There's always, you know, if you have kids, you can take your kids there. Um, then we have the horse races in mid-July to August, which is, a they have really fun activities there. They have concerts with, with great bands. I mean, there's just so many things to do, right? Um, yeah, 
Oh, that's cool. So Patricia just said she went to a flea market with a first date um, as a first date and it was a fun way to get acquainted. Yeah, I always think activities like that where you're walking and talking are a great way to get acquainted with someone. It's low pressure, it's fun, you can, you know, there are many active, there are many ways that you can, you know, kind of joke around with someone about something or get to know their personality, right? So those things and, you know, making, you know, having an intention around doing activities, not to say that you need to do things five, seven days a week. I mean, cause that can get to be a lot, but if you're picking two to three activities a week that you're going to check out, you're stretching yourself out of your comfort zone, you'll, you're naturally having fun, right? You're naturally doing something. Activity breeds activity. So you're naturally opening up to the energy. Even if you don't meet the love of your life, don't go in with the expectation. Go in with having fun, connecting with new and interesting people, and you never know what the outcome will be, right? So, and I love talking about different ways to meet people. Also, if you're on dating apps or, you know, online dating, and I'm going to be talking about this more next week, you know, doing things together that are some of these activities, because again, you know, meeting for coffee, meeting for a drink of your choice, something like that, that's all fine and good. But if you have someone, if you're, you know, doing something that's sort of fun, right? Like walking around a flea market or a, you know, going to a concert in the, in a park, you know, I have a client that was dating a lot this one summer before she met her man and she would go to concerts in the park all the time and on dates, right? And it gave her an opportunity, one, to enjoy and listen to live music and also have some fun. I mean, there's picnic opportunities. There's just so many things to do that can, you know, open you up to new experiences. So my challenge for you, I love to give little challenges, is to... Find a new activity this weekend and go do it. Just go do it. Or find, even if it's not a brand new activity to you, do an activity that is local. You know, whether it's going to your local, you know, street fair or local, you know, you see that there's a concert in the park. Just go do it. And... Give yourself an opportunity to introduce yourself, be social, say hello, um, you know, take yourself out to a cafe and smile, engage with the baristas, just have some fun and be in the energy of summertime. Grab a girlfriend and grab a supportive girlfriend that's supportive of your mission, right? You know, there, there are girlfriends that, you know, can be really wanting you just to, just to talk to them, right? And, and not open up or there are girlfriends that are like, yeah, you know, I want you to, to be meeting people or meeting someone and they may be single, they may be, they may not be, but they're supportive of your goal and your mission in this area of your life. So doing that because you just never know who you're going to meet, what's going to happen. So my stretch challenge for you is to go do something. I prefer that it's something new and post it right here on this post. Let me know how it goes. Have a 
you know, just be open to what the possibilities are. Um, I have a client, I have a few clients actually, that love to dance. They do this um, ballroom dancing. I think one of them does, I don't know, swing dancing, ballroom dancing, whatever, they love it. And one of them, she travels to competitions. She's having such a great time. You know, the other one does local dances on the weekend. So maybe you find something that you could get into like that. And you just never know what it can open up to. And stretch yourself. If you already do sailing, maybe you try a different sailing club or, you know, just to open up and meet new and interesting people. So I hope this helps. I would love for each of you, whether you're listening now or later, take the challenge and let me know what you did this weekend. And I am going to let you know what I've done this weekend because I'm going to do the challenge with you. I'm going to do something different, fun, and new, and I'm going to let you know what came up for me. So a lot of times what happens, you might be thinking one of two things. You might be thinking, oh, I really don't want to do this, or you look at an event and you're like, oh, I, you know, it's going to be too late, or all of that, or I don't want to do it alone, and I get it, but that's part of the fun of it. Have some fun, do the stretch. Even if you're an introvert and it's hard for you to do that, I get it. I'm an introvert as well, so sometimes it can, I can be a little protective of my energy, but um, do it in the spirit of opening up to what's possible. And I can tell you this, life is now, you can and things will and can change for you and a New York minute. So I want to hear all about your stretches. I will let you know about mine. And, you know, the way to start is do a Google search of things that are going on in your area if you haven't already committed to something new and different. Write them down. Pick one or two to go to and just go, have fun, call it a day, check it off, and then I look forward to hearing about it. You know, there, there's all kinds of excuses that we can come up with, but if we're stuck in that, it doesn't actually move you forward. And remember, the man that's meant to be with you, he's seeking you out too. So he may be just as uncomfortable and he may be thinking some of the same things and he's going for it anyways. And isn't that the kind of man you want, right? Somebody that's going to stretch themselves and go for it anyways. So um, let me know. I want to hear how it goes. I promise you I'll post mine and any place else fun to meet people. I mean... In the summertime, the possibilities are endless. There's always friends' parties. There's always different things, right? But just staying open to what, what's possible, right? So I hope this helps. Let me know how you do. And I'm sending you guys so much love. And I will see you on Monday, same time, same channel. Bye, everyone.